Trump's immunity saga, clash of powers. Former President Donald Trump finds himself embroiled in a legal battle over his claim of immunity from criminal charges related to his alleged interference in the 2020 presidential election. Trump's defense team has appealed a lower court ruling that rejected his immunity claim, prompting a three-judge panel in the Federal Appeals Court in Washington, D.C., to unanimously deny his argument. This ruling has significant implications for the legal accountability of former presidents and the functioning of the executive branch. Trump's legal team contends that immunity from criminal prosecution is essential to protect the presidency's integrity. They argue that subjecting a former president to criminal charges for official acts would set a dangerous precedent, leading to destructive cycles of recrimination and hindering the president's ability to carry out their duties without fear of legal consequences. They emphasize the novelty, complexity, and momentous nature of Trump's immunity claim, urging the Supreme Court to carefully consider the issue on appeal. However, The Federal Appeals Court rejected Trump's argument, asserting that as a former president, he is now subject to the same legal standards as any other citizen. The judges affirmed that Trump, in the context of this criminal case, has become citizen Trump, entitled to all the defenses of any other criminal defendant. They dismissed Trump's claims of executive immunity and separation of powers doctrine, arguing that his stance would undermine the system of separated powers by placing the president beyond the reach of all three branches of government. The consequences of allowing a former president to face criminal prosecution for official acts are profound. Trump's lawyers argue that it would have a chilling effect on future presidents, potentially disrupting their ability to carry out their duties and engage in political activities, such as campaigning against rivals. They also claim that hastening a trial would disrupt Trump's ability to campaign against President Joe Biden, especially as he seeks the Republican presidential nomination, setting up a likely rematch with Biden. In conclusion, Donald Trump's legal battle over immunity from criminal charges raises fundamental questions about the balance of power in the U.S. government and the accountability of former presidents. As the case now rests with the Supreme Court, the nation awaits a decision that could shape the boundaries of presidential immunity and the legal standards governing the conduct of former commanders-in-chief.